Anastasia, and this is Anastasia's Hump Day Happenings, special edition here. You know what? I'm here with Mary Hughes, learning about soft tissue management, and from hygienist to hygienist, this is what I know. Gingivitis and early periodontal disease are a completely different ballgame. You know, gum disease is affected and has a direct impact on our health, being stroke, heart disease, diabetes. Mary, what are we missing? I mean, why is there not a connection, and what should our patients ask their hygienist what to expect? In delivering that message between it's not just gingivitis anymore right and that fine line is so hard for us to diagnose of when that is and when that occurs I think a good question for patients to ask is when we tell you that there's bleeding ask us what that means is it there's there a relationship to how old I am or what's going on in my body or what medications I take instead of just asking us how does it look in there let them know that you truly want their diagnosis and I'll let the hygienist talk to you about what she finds. And now why you know, that somebody's going to say to you, my gums always bleed. They always bled. I don't have a problem. You know, and that is very, uh, that's, that's, we do hear that a lot. I know you have too. I think that when we have our patients say, well, my gums have always bled like that, that can be a common thing, but it's definitely not a normal thing. Bleeding in any part of our body is always a sign of disease and infection always so it's important that they understand that relationship that's an important message to know and I'm here to tell you ask your dental hygienist and dentist today contact uh, Denmat you can contact Mary Hughes at mhughes at denmat.com that's awesome because there's questions to know there's technology out there that we can get you to have a healthy environment now you got a question for me next week hashtag ask Anastasia otherwise till next Wednesday take what you learn and make a difference with you.